Today's video is not clickbait. For those of you that have not heard the news, this title is 100% accurate. I like that sound. That means shit is finna start. What up, YouTube? Welcome to Zolive, and welcome to another like little Supreme news video. A lot of you guys liked it when I did the little Supreme Louis V leak thing. A lot of you guys asked me to do more shit like that. So uh, I figured I'd do today's video. Today I was actually supposed to drop a Q and A, a Q and A. Let me really accentuate that and the Q and A. Um, but I didn't, uh, obviously, because you're watching this. If I get this up early enough and it gets enough love, I might even just do a double upload today. I'm gonna upload two videos today. That's never been done on this channel. So that's gonna be a new Guinness World Record book record for this channel. Not for YouTube because he will be doing double uploads all the time, especially those new sites. But yeah, anyways. So, um, if you want to see the Q&A, definitely hit that like button down below. If I don't end up posting it today, then I will end up posting it Sunday regardless. So, if you don't want to like my video because you think I'm a stupid fucking hype beast bitch, then, um, don't do it and you'll see it Sunday anyway. So, you know, there's that. Sorry that I'm eating breakfast. It's pretty early. I didn't get to bed till 4 and, um... Tired and hungry. Dino Bites, if you're watching this, you want to sponsor me, let me know. I want to get some like random ass sponsorships, like you know, something that I fuck with, like Dino Bites or like some kind of water sponsorship or like an Arizona tea sponsorship. That'd be funny. Anyways, before I get into it, make sure you go follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is at the Star Life. It's really awesome. Okay, go do that. It's gonna be on the screen somewhere down in the description below. Okay, so today's video, no, surprisingly, it's not clickbait. So I got a text from a longtime sub and supporter that um, I've been talking to a lot, especially these last like couple months. And uh, I think I mean, he may have, he may have even called me. What the fuck? Double text messages? Anyways, he may have even called me. I don't remember. It was like early. He's from the East Coast. So it was like, I don't know. I feel like it was like 7 a.m. here. Needless to say, as soon as I discussed this news, I went right back to sleep. Then I get up and I received a tweet about it. And I only received one tweet about it. So I don't know how big the news is. I don't know if you guys have heard the news. But basically, the story is that... Louis Vuitton, Louis Vuitton, actually purchased Supreme for some stupid number to what was it like five hundred billion dollars or something? I don't know. I think no, I don't think it's five. Like five hundred million, I think. I don't know. It's some stupid fucking price. Someone's gonna be in the comments. I don't like the way you say Vuitton. I don't care. Okay, so the first two things are from um, High Snobiety and. Fader. So these are both pretty reputable. So I'm gonna read it from High Snobiety first. What the fuck, man? My homie like grabbed my fucking iPhone charging cable. Well, I just had to go buy a new cable, but I'm back like I never left. Okay, so High Snobiety reports Louis Vuitton owners rumored to have bought Supreme for five hundred million dollars. The fashion rumor mill is running in overdrive at the minute. Industry sources are currently speculating that Ricardo Tiski has already signed this contract at Versace. Oh, this is irrelevant. However, High Snobiety's connections in the industry have come through with something far, far juicier. LVMH, the luxury conglomerate that owns Louis Vuitton, just bought Supreme for $500 million. Or let me, hold on, let me read that. $500 million. Having just linked with what's probably one of the biggest collaborations of the year, word on the street is that LVMH has added one of Fuck it, the most iconic streetwear brand of all time to its portfolio, which also includes legendary names like Dior, Fendi, Givenchy, and Kenzo, as well as myriad high-end alcoholic, oh, alcohol, fragrance, and watch brands. The conglomerate revenues in 2015 were a staggering $37 billion. Okay, that's fucking annoying, I'm not gonna do that anymore. Anyways, were the rumors to be true, it'd be an absolute spectacular turn of events. Supreme, the fucking mentality skate brand which started from a modest store in downtown New York, bought by one of the biggest players in the luxury clothing business. It'd have huge implications for the brand's operations. Would Supreme's business be grown as aggressively as Louis Vuitton's, which has 3,708 stores worldwide? Would the brand's new owners be happy to leave money off the table just to keep products limited? Of course, this could just be gossip. Rumors were bound to spread following a collaboration that's massive. However, longtime Supreme brand director Angelo Bake. Be Beke, I don't know, recently announced his departure from the label, so maybe he's making his exit before the brand changes hands. Okay, some other bullshit, other bullshit, other bullshit, but as you can see, uh, High Snobiety does kind of allude to the fact that it's just a rumor, but they also say that they have some, you know, exclusive connections in the industry, and however, Fader posted 54 minutes ago and said, Louis Vuitton and Supreme 
recently debuted their much discussed collaboration, which will be available in July. Louis Vuitton Stories, but reports on Thursday suggested that the French label had blah, 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 blah. I feel like reading all this shit. You guys can see it on the screen. Anyways, according to the New York Times fashion critic Vanessa Friedman, the rumors aren't true. So, I mean, according to the New York Times fashion critic, I don't know why she would know. It does say a representative for Louis Vuitton declined to comment to the fader, saying that the purchase was, start quotes, based on a market rumor that the company, oh, based on a market rumor and the company doesn't comment on rumors or speculation of any kind, in quotations. A representative for Supreme was not immediately available for comment. I did get a tweet from this individual who just tweeted me this thing right here, and this is, uh, well, if true, prices will go through the roof. This is from at Supreme Drops. Uh, not true. First of all, if it was true, Supreme's not going to turn into Louis Vuitton. I don't know who posted that or why they think that. Um, if they bought Supreme, they would ideally keep doing what Supreme's doing that makes Supreme so successful. So they'd probably keep everything exactly the same. I highly doubt anything at all would change. By the way, go follow me on Twitter. It's right here. I only have 3,764 followers. I need uh, 10 million. Okay. Anyways, um, I don't know, man. In my opinions, I don't think it's true. I highly doubt it. I think the fader is right. Although those responses were somewhat vague and it's still possible, you could say. I doubt it. I mean, first of all, I don't think this high fashion conglomerate, right, is worried about the money that Supreme is making when they're making $37 billion last year. And granted, yes, they still might be trying to make a little bit more money. Um, but the thing is, the reason Supreme is Supreme is because of the way they do business. If they grew Supreme to the level of Louis Vuitton, I don't think Supreme would be Supreme anymore. Speaking of prices not going through the roof, uh, I know some people might bring up the Louis Vuitton Supreme collab, but that's because that's being released in Louis Vuitton stores, not Supreme stores. It's a Louis Vuitton collection with Supreme, not a Supreme collection with Louis Vuitton. By the way, Owens Teddy was saying that he wished he would have seen my reaction to the prices. And for those of you that were curious about my reaction to the prices, my reaction to the prices was, oh my fucking God, that's way too much money. I'm not buying anything. No, but in all seriousness, I mean, I have considered buying like the bandana or I don't know, maybe like a small little accessory, but I'm definitely not going to buy, I'm not going to cash out and buy everything. <laughs> I think that's what everyone thinks I'm going to do because on the last season I spent like over $10,000. If you guys are subscribed to the channel, you guys know that I'll probably end up doing that this season as well. But anyways, yeah, I'm not going to do that with the Louis Vuitton collection because $10,000 would get me like, I don't know, two bags <laughs> and I'm not going to spend that much money on a bag that's literally the exact same as all the other Louis Vuitton bags except it says Supreme. I'd rather just have an actual Louis Vuitton bag. And when I say I would rather, I mean I don't want either of them, but if I had to choose, if I had a gun to my head, I would pick the Louis Vuitton bag over the Louis Vuitton Supreme bag. I was actually kind of bummed because when I dropped that video, I forgot a couple things. Like I forgot the track pants, which looks super dope. There were a couple other items that I forgot, and lately there's just been a ton of other links, or leaks, I should say. Um, maybe I'll start posting those leaks on my Twitter, actually. Oh, I don't even think I brought up the uh, Supreme, like, blurred logo or whatever. I'll leave that on the screen as well. Um, there's some pretty cool freaking leaks, man, so I'm pretty excited for the season to start. I think most individuals are. Supreme is Supreme because it's limited, because there is that exclusivity factor, and people really do care whether or not... Well, I shouldn't say people, but actually, I guess I could say people. People involved in fashion in general, they care whether or not their stuff is rocked by other people. So whether you're rocking some high fashion pieces, right, that's like, you know, $1,000 for a fucking t-shirt, a lot of people will rock that because they know that they're one of the only people that will buy it. They can go to the mall and they can know I'm the only one with this and they can feel, you know, like a special little snowflake. And people with Supreme who can't afford a $1,000 t-shirt but want that rare piece, can cop that and know not everyone else was able to acquire that same piece because they had a limited run. And I don't think the consumer base would accept Supreme if it charged more for its pieces. Oh, and by the way, it should not matter whether or not other people wear your shit. Do not care whether or not you have an exclusive piece. That shit is so fucking corny. Who cares? Just wear what you like. I see so many commenters that'll be like, Oh, you're making Supreme more popular than it already is. I'm so tired of Supreme being popular, blah, blah, blah. It's ruining skateboarding culture and blah. And I'm like, yo, first of all, if you only skateboard because of the way this, like, because of the style, then you're a fucking cornball. You're fucking lame. You're fucking whack. If you skateboard because you genuinely have a love for skateboarding, then you're fucking dope. Skateboarding is a great sport, but other people wearing skateboarding clothes 
is not going to ruin skateboarding. If other people wearing clothes from a culture ruins a brand, or ruins a culture, I should say, if it ruins that culture, then that is the weakest, lamest, fucking, most pussy fucking culture on the planet. I have to be as blunt as possible because I get these stupidest 11 to 12 year old boys that know how to ollie and they're like, this is ruining skateboarding culture. And I'm just like, you're so fucking lame. And they just can't stop crying in the YouTube comments. I'm like, go learn how to do a kid flip or something, kids. Stop being so fucking weird. But yeah, the overall point is don't let people's opinions or whether or not someone else wears something that you want affect whether or not you want it. If you like something, if you like the way it looks, if you like the way that it was designed or whatever, the message, whatever, then buy it. Anyways, back to the issue at hand. More than likely, I imagine that Supreme being bought out by Louis Vuitton or being bought out by the company that owns Louis Vuitton would just mean that Supreme would stay exactly how it is, kind of like other companies that have been bought out, like when Motorola was bought out by Google, they kept all the Motorola team intact. I imagine that it would work fairly similar to that. Most companies aren't stupid when they buy a business, they understand why the business is so successful and they're not going to change what makes the business so successful. But anyways, what do you think at home? Do you think that this would be a good thing? Do you think this would be a bad thing? Do you think it would be no difference? Kind of like what I feel. I feel like there would be no difference. I don't think it would make a difference at all. Do you think that it would affect people's impact though? Because I feel like it would affect some people's view on the brand. I don't think it should, but I think it would. Bars. So let me know what you think of this little uh, merger thing in the comments below. Anyways, that's it for the video. If you guys enjoyed the video, let me know by hitting that like button down below. If you want to see more content such as this in the future, let me know by hitting that like button down below. If you want to see the Q&A, then you already know what to do. I'm not going to fucking say it a third time. Make sure you go follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Both those are at the Star Life. That'll be somewhere on the screen and in the description. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Hit that little red box logo underneath this video that says subscribe inside of it. And as always, keep living the Star Life.